Should we all stand as we sing our gathering hymn? Very sacred, let me be. Sangalan ng Ama, ng Anak, ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Sumayin ang Panginoon. Nuhamay, harimay, te fare karakia o hato katorika maaka pakuranga. Welcome, welcome everyone here to the parish of St. Mark here in Pakuranga for the Requiem Mass of our beloved Edna. This is her spiritual home. This is the spiritual home of her family. So on behalf of the Danao family, I welcome you all as we come here together in thanksgiving and celebration for the life of Edna. We will hear stories. We will listen to the stories that we have in our hearts too. We remember, but at the same time, we also pray. We pray for Edna and we pray for her family. And therefore, as we continue to be gathered here as a community, let us uh, pray to God that may God who have started the work on Edna and her family, he will bring it to completion. And now going to bless her coffin with this holy water to remind her and us that when we were baptized and when, when she was baptized, she became the daughter of God and a sister of Jesus and therefore was given the promise of eternal life. Come to the water you who are thirsty, though you have nothing, I bid you come and be filled with your goodness. I have to offer. Come, listen. Please be seated. Stories are the ones that we hold on dear. Stories are those things that inspire us in life. Stories are those memories that we hold dear 
in our hearts that keeps us going. So we're now going to listen to the stories of the life of Edna to be shared by her family. So should we start with you, Frederick? Ah, oh, Dina said she will start it. Okay, do it the opposite way. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm doing this um, tribute on behalf of Rosnan, Frederick's um, sister and Edna's sister-in-law. Sorry, I got the wrong paper. I have to go back. Hi everyone, my, my name is Rosnan and Edna is my sister-in-law. Unfortunately, I am currently in Australia and unable to be by her side. I am thankful to be able to say a few words. My brother Frederick introduced Ate Edna to the family in 1988. I was finishing high school at that time. In my college years, I was living with Kuya Frederick in Manila, and Ata Edna would come visit us frequently. As I am new in Manila, they would usually bring me along with them during their dates. She would always buy me small things like hair clips, hair bands, and other cute things. She has treated me like a sister until the day she finally became my sister-in-law and married my brother. Even when they had children, we, are, we were all still very close. I was there during the times when SM and Edric were born, as Kuya Frederick was working overseas. We had each other during those times, and I helped with raising the two children. We always had a good relationship. I only parted with them when I finally got married and had my own family. But this not, did not stop us from spending time together. My family then moved here in New Zealand and Kuya Frederick came eventually with his family. We stayed in one household at the beginning and our relationship as a family has become stronger. Ata Edna has always treated me as her younger sister, and I see her as also my big sister. She has also embraced being part of my big family as there are 12 siblings in total. She took the role as our eldest sister, especially when Kuya Frederick was away overseas. She has also become a responsible and loyal daughter to my parents. She has given everyone her love and much more. Ate Edna has always been very honest with me and she never kept secrets. I have always known about her condition and she has always been a very strong fighter. She has entrusted me not to tell anyone about her condition and I have kept that promise till her last breath. She has always tried to find ways to live and given me her word of wisdom. Even though she was in a lot of pain, she never showed even through her last days. She never complained and told me that she's not ready to leave my brother, her children, and all of us here. Despite her being unwell, she still manages to worry about others. She has continued to worry about me till the end. She messaged and called me frequently just to check on me. Till the very end, she was worried about others knowing about her condition, as she doesn't want her family to worry about her. It has been difficult to accept that you are gone, and I am struggling to cope with it. Please comfort me and hope you can come meet me in my dreams. Ate Edna, you will always be my big sister, and I will miss you dearly. Thank you for being the best big sister to me, and on behalf of my siblings and my mom, 
Thank you everything you have done for the family. Thank you for coming to our lives and touching our hearts. You will be missed by so many. Bring all our love with you in heaven. I love you and don't worry, I will always look out for Kuya Frederick and your children, SM, Edric, and Denrick. Much love from your sister, Rustan. I, um, this is a poem from Jokoi. Though her smile is gone forever and her hand I cannot touch, I still have so many memories <clears throat> of the one I love so much. Her memory is now my keepsake, which with I'll never part. God has her in his keeping and I have her in my heart. If only I could have you back for just a while, then we could sit down and talk for a while, just like we used to. You always meant so very much to me, and always will do too. The fact that you are no longer here will always cause me pain, but you're, you are forever in my heart. Also, just remember when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. For every time you think about me, I'm here in your heart. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Agnes. I'm um, Frederick's cousin, and I'm speaking today on behalf of Team Cherry. Frederick's uncle, together with all the thoughts and love um, from my brothers and sisters and my children. Life indeed is a great mystery. Um, you have heard this line so many times from everywhere. Um, and there's even like a movie um, about this car dealer that does magic. You know, like now you see it, now you don't. We, see it, we saw it now on Sunday, and it's not even a week yet. And now she's lying there. So, so um... This is my third time to offer a eulogy under two years. In 2019, my mom passed away, and auntie, and then soon after that, a very close friend of our family, and then early 2021, and I, boy, I even choked. I, I, I said to Boyet um, two days ago, I go, I'm gonna do another eulogy, and then he said, you're gonna be a, 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 a master eulogist soon. You know, hopefully not, I, I don't dream of it. And you say that every time you speak in front of people, the more you speak, the more you get better because the more practice that you do, but it's actually the opposite. It's getting harder and harder and harder each time you speak about people that you love and send them off. But anyway, um, not so long ago, as I mentioned earlier, on a Tuesday, um, I saw um, my, my family visited Edna at her house, and she was obviously in pain, but then, um, as she is, she is very accommodating, very hospitable, very friendly, very loving, despite of all the pain. We visited her on, in the morning of Sunday while the family is in the mass. Um, we talk, we walk around her garden, and she's even like run her hand through my hair. 
And that means so much to me because she's the one in pain, but she's the one comforting me. And on Tuesday at midday, I talked to her on the phone when Frederick asked me to arrange for a priest. And I said to her, Edna, please be, just, just stay strong. And then she said, I'm sorry, Ati. Considering she's the one in pain, she's still the one apologizing for everything. So today I'll pay tribute to Edna by the letter E. E for Edna, E for elegance, statuesque lady. When you think of her, you would always picture in your mind of her um, beauty. She's tall, she's very ladylike, it's almost aristocratic way. But then when you get to know her, she's very loving and very friendly. And a lot of us can testimony to that. E for endurance. This sickness that we call cancer requires such a long marching order. It's like even you have sores on your feet and your, your body is heavy with, with pain. It just requires you to just keep on marching and Edna persevere with that, with such optimism and hope. I have never seen her or expressed fear in front of me anyway. And I'm pretty sure as a human being, we all have fear of the unknown. But in front of me, she is full of optimism and hope that she will get better and will still enjoy her family and her new home. Edna has marched with sore feet, sore body, fear in her heart up to the very end. In even the last few minutes of her life, she's very, very hopeful that even if we can just sleep, sleep it through, she will wake up better. E for endearing. As we are all witnessing here today, your very presence testimony that Edna is a very loving person. She is very accommodating. She is very generous. I have never met someone so generous as she is. Even her last penny, my dad said she will give it away. Edna, you may be gone, but your spirit always lives with us, lives in our heart. We will always talk about you. We will always talk about you and Mama in heaven, looking at us, praying with us. I'm sure we are all feel the pain, feel the hurt. But such hurt is just God's plan for the greater good. And Edna had her hands full. That God said, okay, you can come now. Rest in peace, Edna. We will always think about you. We will look after your family um, in the best of our ability. I love you and I miss you a lot. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Janwick and I am the youngest child of Edna. My mom is the strongest woman I know. In my early years, I spent most of my time with my mom because my dad worked abroad as a seafarer. 
She took on the role as a mother and a father while my dad was away for months navigating countless seas. She never made us feel that our dad was away because she would shower us with love. That was the equivalent of having two parents. She was the strongest woman I know because she dared to dream bigger for her children. She made the hard decision together with my dad to move to New Zealand. I remember crying in my bed because of the sadness I felt when my mom left us to come here. I would always wonder why they had to come here when we were happy with our simple life in the Philippines. But now I realize that it must have been harder for my parents, especially for my mom, to leave three children in someone's care. As many of you will know, moving to a new country is difficult. At times, it will feel like starting from zero, or even below that, starting negative. However, we were lucky that we have families and friends who guided us along the way and made, us, and made the journey much easier, especially for my mom. Eventually, our family was reunited here in New Zealand, and it must have been one of the happiest days for my mom to be able to embrace her children again. From then, I witnessed her working multiple jobs shifting from one workplace to the other. But she never complained because she was happy to be able to provide for her family and also extend help to friends and families back in the Philippines. She would always tell me to give back because God will always provide. My mom, My mom is the strongest woman I know because until the end, because she fought until the end. My mom kept her diagnosis private. She never wanted to burden anyone with feeling like they had to take care of her, especially on her more challenging days. Her selflessness didn't just show up after her diagnosis. She has been this way her entire life, putting others first and wanting to be with her family wanting to be her family and friends rock. My mom is the strongest woman I know because she anchored her belief and life to God. The last few years was especially difficult, but her energy to serve her family did not fade. Her will to live was stronger than anyone I have met in my life. She was a warrior ready to fight this battle until the end. She would always say that she was not ready to go because she wanted to witness our accomplishments. But her time has come, and it was a battle well fought. A battle she completely handed over to God, and she always said that God will take care to the path that is right for her. While it is hard to say goodbye in this mortal life, you can safely go, Ma in the hands of God. You have achieved more than you have ever imagined. You have blessed your family with more than we have ever needed. And it's now up to us to continue your legacy and dreams. We will look after each other, and I will always help Papa. The people here today are a testament of your love, not only here in New Zealand, but families and friends in the Philippines and across the world. You have touched so many lives, and your memory will forever live with us. I love you, Mama, and I will, miss, I will miss you so much. Good morning, everyone. I'm Beverly. I'm Idna's cousin. And I'm reading this in behalf of Idna's sister-in-law. Hello, everyone. I am Bibbs, a sister-in-law of Ati Ed. Although we were not sister, but blood or by blood or by birth, but we knew from the start that God 
brought us together to be sister by heart. Even before Ati Ed got sick, we were exchanging messages. Actually, mas madalas pa ang amon chikahan kaysa sa akon mga siblings. Kaya for sure, I will miss her a lot. When she got sick, she told me that she loses her weight a lot. She had pain in her lower abdomen and that she was to undergo a surgery. From then on, we were exchanging knowledge and ideas about our health protocols. I will never forget when she told me about her condition. At first, we, we was hesitant to tell, but because I have a strong feeling about the result, sabi niya, maghuhula ka talaga. Siguro kung face-to-face -face lang kami, basi nag, nagkapupan kami at hagulhol to the max. After receiving the result, she was optimistic that everything would be well went, went well. She was eager to explore and search on Google, YouTube, and even FB for health protocols. She was very happy when Ati Isim, I think, purchased her the Chris Pitt Cancer Health Program Protocols. Only one in allowed to access the modules of Chris Pitt Cancer, and she unselfishly shared it to me. She was also very happy telling me that her children bought her a juicer. She was a very diligent and deliciously following her health protocols. Until such time that, the f that she felt well and went back to work, Ati Ed was a very, ha very happy about her new work. Masayun sayun daw kag upod sinda ni Kuya Edric. We were sending me pictures with Kuya Edric, pero nag-abot na ang amon kinatatakutan sa nagsabi siya na nagapanugas naman ang iyat yan. Igwa naman sa pain and dili siya katulog sa maayo. It breaks my heart and I will tell her na, Ati, I will pray for you. Tapos pag ako naman and not feeling well, masabi siya man. Laban lang kita, Beryl. Be strong. Ipagprita man ikaw. We hold on to our promise that we will be strong and that we will survive. Sabi niya, nagat, sabi niya nagatuod siya kan Jesus na may milagro. Nasana nakalista siya sa healing list minsan kap but her time comes. Maybe her purpose here on earth has been fulfilled. Tapos na an iya mission didi sa aton. Our Lord God needs her. She is now in happier place with our Creator. Bakamundo lang kay no no one understand my condition the way she did. Kami lang nakakaintindihan kay Nano, we have to eat this. Why we should do this and that? She understand. She lang ang nakakaintindi sa mga pain. What you went through at the aid will be our strength and guidance that life must be spent well with people we love. Cherish every memories with love, one because life is precious. Thank you so much, Ati. I found a real sister in you, a sister who will always comfort me, even though she is in pain too. She even bought medicines for me, even she is also in need. That you, Ati, forever grateful. She made sure that she will show her affection too. She is very self, selfless, caring, and loving wife and mother to her children. Thank you for trusting me in so many things, Ati. I will keep my promise. Thank you, Ati. I will forever cherish all the good memories that we had shared. Rest now, Ati. This will never be goodbye. It's until we meet again. I love you.
Hi everyone, um, my name is Pinky, but I will be speaking on behalf of CJ. She is um, in Australia. Hi everyone, I am CJ, one of Edna's nieces. I have known Auntie Edna from the day I was born, which is 25 years. I have always known her to be an elegant, beautiful, smart, and fierce woman. I had always been slightly intimidated by her. She has always had this sophisticated air around her and everything she did had gloss. From her fashion sense, home decor, gardening, anything she tried to style turned out really good. I sincerely looked up to her and wondered when I was younger, how is this possible? But she was more than that. As you all would have heard from the readings today or will hear, Auntie Edna had a way with words. She was intelligent and knew how to give people advice. I will miss talking to her and listening to how she viewed the world. A few years ago, I was living on my own here in New Zealand as my immediate family went to Australia. Honestly, at that time, I felt so alone, but she kept making sure I knew that I am always welcome at her home and that she was there for me. The last time I saw her was in 2019 when I was visiting the country. She was sick with a cough at that time, but told me that she would be fine and not to worry. She was showing me around her new house and was very happy. She told me, Pangai, if you get sick of living in Australia, you are welcome to come back and stay here. I can't believe that would be the last time I would see her. She treated me like her daughter and I will miss her greatly. I still cannot believe she's not with us anymore. She will forever live in my heart. I will miss you, Auntie Edna. I love you. Thank you for everything. Your niece, CJ. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who comes today to remember my mom. Uh, my name is Edric, and I am the son of Edna. I really didn't prepare a speech for my mom because remembering, remembering all the memories <laughs> I promised myself not to cry because on her last day, she told us Why are you guys crying? I'm still strong. So I tried my best not to cry on that day. She even told the doctors that my dad was crying already. So for me, I don't want to let him hear that I'm crying as well, because I know she's in pain that day. I'm happy that for I was able to serve my mom Since she was diagnosed um, last, I think last year or last last year, from her appointment, doctor's appointment, mostly I'm the driver. It's so hard. Like my mom will tell me, um, "Can you take me to the 
uh, middle mode or GP. I usually stayed in my car, but uh, I realized that my mom needs someone to go with her talking to the um, doctors. My mom will ask questions to the doctors, um, 80, um, 80 suggestions, like what I can do to um, stop this sickness or pain. The doctors don't really recommend or something. My mom would cry because Like, I can tell that she didn't want to give up. So every time we finish or finish her appointment, we'll just pretend that nothing happened. We'll just go back to normal. And she even, like, offered me because I'm... Um, I usually um, order KFC, so sometimes she feels bad. She will say, oh, nak, agi nasa KFC. Use my credit card. <laughs> and I said, oh, mom, don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. She was a brave person. She won't tell anyone that she's in pain. She will keep it a secret, even though we can see it. For the last five months, I was so happy that I work with my mom. Uh, we work together. Uh, we work at Fisher Pico. So we, we're in the same shift. So we're always together. I will, always say, I will always say to her, like, let's go, mom. We're almost late because of parking. She's always busy. She's doing all the juicing. And she will tell us, don't forget to eat. Because you need energy for tonight or for your shift. And every time we're in the car, she will, she will always take um, selfies. And I really hate it. Because I, I don't know who um, um, she's been sending it. And she will just say, just smile. But sometimes I just ignore it because I'm driving. And last two days, someone sent me the pictures. And I said, oh, you're the person who she's been and sending the pictures. And every time we finish work, I always ask her, um, how's work? She will always say, it's easy. Masayun lang. But I can tell that she's, she's in pain already because she will always do this. But I tried not to ask her because I, I know she's trying to show me that she's all right. She doesn't want me to worry about it. Mom, thank you for everything. Thank you for all the sacrifices you've done. Last week, 
We were so happy that you were back from the hospital. And you mentioned that you want me to stop from buying shoes. But I'll try my best because you know that's my happiness as well. And I'll take all of your plans. And don't worry about it. I know you'll always be with us, even you're gone. You'll always be in our heart. Thank you, and I love you. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm SM, and I'm the eldest um, in the family. Um, I think for me, I have the hardest task because I stand as the eldest, and I'm always there with mom every time when we are in the hospital. I'm your personal nurse, and I also witness all the pain, all the struggles, and all the sad news that the doctors would give us. I now live in Wellington, and first my family, especially my parents, it's hard for them to let me go because I'm the only daughter. But mom, mom is the one who's very happy for me. She said she's not, she can't wait for me to get married and to see her grandchildren. But that's not gonna happen. When mom got admitted last week, I flew straight away from Wellington. I told my brothers not to tell mom that I'm coming because for sure she worries that I'm spending money and you know, I'll, I'll be away from work. But then I said to mom, don't worry, it's money, I can earn it, but you know, you only have one parent, you only have one mom. That can't be replaced with money. And then when she saw me, she was really happy. And she, she joked, mom joked, and she was like, oh, Ate is here, I'm okay now. And my brother, Denrik, was like, oh, I'm here as well. But then, I was really hopeful that mom will get through this. She didn't show any signs of her saying goodbye to the family. Despite all of the, of the words of the doctor, I'm very sorry and now we can't do much about you. That's the hardest part to hear. But mom was very positive about it. She never showed that she said or disappointed about the doctor's news. Despite, she thinks about others, her family, especially my dad. <laughs> and 
It breaks my heart that I'm standing here giving this message to mom. I am not even expecting for mom to be in that coffin. It's really hard. Mom, I'm going to miss you. We're going to miss Christmas because Christmas is the highlight of the family, your Christmas tree, your yearly team, Christmas team, your cooking, your nice decorations around home, your gardening. Our bunny, Ban Ban, will surely miss you as well. Please look after us. I know you're right there looking, looking after us. Don't worry about dad and my two brothers. I'll be right here. Mom, it's hard, it's really hard for us to accept that you're not here anymore. But just looking at the brighter side that you're not in pain, I guess that's God's plan for you. Mom is not ready. She's telling all the doctors, I'm not ready to go. But mom has prepared herself spiritually, surrendering herself to God. Whatever is your plan, I'll take it. And today is God's plan. May you rest in peace, Ma. I love you so much. This is 32 years in a meeting. What a wonderful to day today. First of all, I want to thank God the Lord for gathering us today. I want to thank everyone for coming, for your support, for your love. And despite of the pain, we felt so much love. I'm standing here in front of you to tell the story of the woman I love. When I was 19, I met a girl, and her name is Edna Floresta. With her beautiful smile, she captured my heart, and she became my soulmate. I still remember the very, time, the very first time we kissed and held hands. The parks and the garden, the places we went to, to win we were dating. In fact, on our first vacation back to Manila, after 10 years in New Zealand, we visited the place the places to relieve the moment. From then, God bless us with three loving children. I'm so blessed to have a wife who is loving caring, and dedicated mother to our children. 
our house is beautifully adorned with comfy sofas that are always full of pillows. In fact, so full that you don't know where to sit. <laughs> Cupboards are neatly, ar are neatly arranged and the kitchen keeps sparkly clean. Beautiful plants and garden and even five-star rated bid arrangement. My clothes are always folded neatly. Like yung mga, mga damit ko, yung mga t-shirt ko, yung mga underwear ko, maka-arrange. Just, like just like in the department store. She did all of this despite working 40 hours a week without complaint. She has so much energy to serve her family and shower us with love. In Edna loves to write too. During our early days, she sent us, she sent me monthly anniversary letters, anniversary notes. She have so many notebook, notebook or even for the budget, grocery, electric bills, and most recently for her diet protocol. <laughs> I used to work overseas for 15 years in the ships that travel worldwide. Back then, there is no internet, and the only way to communicate is through writing letters. Every time we are at port, the whole ship's crew is full of excitement to receive letters from their loved ones. Some are disappointed dahil walang natatanggap. But Edna never disappoints. She never failed to send and reply to my messages. She would write really thick letters na ganun kakapal. And I always wave it to my crewmates, and I proudly say, this is my wife. Alam niyo po kasi sa barko, pag wala kang sulat, ibig sabihin po, may kantsawan po kami na walang nagmamahal sa'yo. O di po kaya kulang yung padalang allotment. I have been married to Edna for 31 years, and I was seaman for 15 years. During our 25th anniversary, I sometimes make a joke with her. Sabi niya, tanda na tayo, 25 years na tayo pala. Sabi ko, okay lang, ma. 15 years akong nagbarko, no? Kung sa... Kumbaga sa kotse, shiny ka pa. Mabibenta pa kita, Malit, mababa pa yung mileage mo, mabibenta pa kita ng mahal dahil it's like the use ka lang. As a couple, we live a simple life with God as the center of our family. Being away most of the time, she became both the mother and the father of our children. That is why I can see that my children has influenced greatly by, the, by her character. She disciplined them to be God-fearing and respectful of others.
last night po, I review my... Sabi ko, there's something more I have to dig. Last night, and because I'm so tired already at 3 o'clock in the morning, I went to sleep. And in this morning, when I woke up, the passage that comes to my mind, what is the highlight of Edna's life? The purpose of his life. One of it is she is the, sacrif the sacrificial lamb. She became the sacrificial lamb of our family. She is the, way, the reason why we are here in New Zealand. Because when the time that we back years ago when when we ran out of visa and I was ready to pack my bag, she's the one find a way. She puyung she fight. She never give up. Yeah, push your young capsu. Siguro po yun ang purpose niya in life. Para dalhin kami dito ng pamilya niya. In 2019, Edna was diagnosed with a terrible illness that changed our lives. Despite the adversity, she maintained to be prayerful and loving wife and mother. She never gave up, she never complained, and she never showed us the pain. There are times that I see her in pain, and I end up crying with her. And because of that, she doesn't show me. She don't want to see me crying. That's why she tried her best to be strong and never show her weaknesses until her last breath. Hindi siya umiyak, nag-iiyaka na kami lahat, hindi siya umiyak. For now, we will continue to live without you, Ma. But you are not gone in our hearts. You are there in the heavenly kingdom of God. I will miss you. I will miss the Christmas tree. I miss you that no words can ever describe. My best friend, my life, my forever love. Puro palangga, taga di ka uma. We have heard now beautiful stories and memories of Edna we are going to see that one in photos. Maybe some of the photos will evoke more memories, more stories of her. I can see it in your eyes that you are restless. Time has come for you to leave It's so hard to let you go But in this life I know you have to be Who you were made to be 
As you step out on the road, I'll say a prayer So that in my heart, you always will be there This is not goodbye I know we'll meet again So let your life begin Should you stay or turn around? Well, just remember that your dreams, they are a promise That you were made to change the world So don't let fear stop you now Cause this is not goodbye I know we'll meet again Cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through Toast to the ones in the day Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gon' be alright Gonna raise a glass and say yeah. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your <laughs> There's a 
time that I remember When I never felt so lost And I felt all of the hatred Was too powerful to stop And my heart feel like an ember And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya And you know I'll never drop Yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gon' be alright a glass and say, hey. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not Cause the drinks bring back All the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back All the memories And the memories bring back Memories bring back your Why don't we now pause as we gather our thoughts and prayers for our beloved Edna. And gathering all these prayers that we have in our hearts, let us pray. O oh God, to whom mercy and forgiveness belong, hear our prayers on behalf of your servant Edna, whom we have called out of this world, because she put her hope and trust in you, Command that she be carried safely home to heaven and come to enjoy your eternal reward. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We are now going to listen uh, to the scriptures, and the first reading will be read to us by Jacob. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. The word of the Lord.
We now all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If there are not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear Frederick, Sheila, Edric, and Denrick, friends and relations of the family of Edna, once again, I would like to extend the deepest condolences of the parish of St. Mark, your spiritual home. The last time Edna was here was February 14. Perhaps I was been praying and thinking about this for the last couple of days, that even on this sad occasion that we are gathered here, we are invited still to remember, probably for us to remember two persons. First, let us continue to remember Edna. It is often said, as this was being narrated to us through the stories and testimonies, that those who have gone ahead of us will continue to live in our hearts as long as we continue to remember them. So we are invited here today to remember her, our experiences of her, both the happy ones as well as the sad ones, the trying ones, for the two are always intermingled in this world and to be grateful for the gift of her life and her person, the gift of her being a husband to you, Frederick, to the gift of being a mother to her children, cousins, friends, relations, colleague. Because long after we have laid her to rest, we will continue to be invited to tell our stories about her, to hold our memories of her, to continue to remember her. I think this is the same experience that disciples of Jesus, long after he died, their memories of him continue to live long after he went back to the Father. They continue to remember and recall his words and deeds. And even if sometimes they forget him, they believe that God will never forget them, that God will walk with them, especially in those moments of doubts and disbelief, moments of hopelessness and despair. Our faith in Jesus assures us of the same thing, that even if we should forget Edna, maybe because we develop a wee bit of memory lost, we 
had developed a wee bit of dementia, or probably some of us will get Alzheimer's, God will continue to remember her. Even if the last memory of our beloved Edna has faded away and last story of her forgotten, she will continue to live for God's memory is far longer and vast wide than ours. His memory spans the entirety of eternity. Secondly, let us continue and also to be invited to remember Jesus, the one that Edna put her trust into. I remember Frederick was telling me that at the last moment at the hospital, Frederick was singing, Ang Pangino, Ang Panginoon, Ang Aking Pastol, the Lord is my shepherd. He is the Son of God who became one of us. We are invited to remember the meaning of Him becoming one of us. And on this occasion, to remember the meaning of His death on the cross. Our faith tells us that because God Himself has visited the darkest corners of this world, have experienced how it means to suffer, how it means to be rejected, how it means to be put on the cross, and experience even the pangs of pain and death, because God chose to journey with us on this road, and then as well journey with us on the road to Emmaus, we are assured that we are never alone, that He will be there for us wherever their life is. This is something special with the God that we believe in and Edna put her faith into, a God that journeys with us. We may not be able to understand the reasons why Edna was taken away from us at her you know, young age, 52. But one thing is certain for us who have faith, for us who have believed, that Jesus is with us like he was with those two former disciples of the Lord on their way to Emmaus. He will continue to journey with us until we realize that he is indeed the resurrection and the life, that he is the risen Lord. There is no place in this world too dark for him, for he has the capacity and precisely has descended to the deepest darkness, depths, so that even those places where we feel God is absent, that we can recognize the light of Christ. So yes, because of our faith, because of the faith of Edna, she was never alone. She was surrounded by her family and friends at the hospital, but we are very much sure that the Lord was there also embracing her. Probably assuring her that it's time for you to have a rest. And this is, as a priest, as a former chaplain in the hospital, this is the good news of our faith. This is the faith of the family of Edna. This is the treasure that we are invited to remember. This is our hope for Edna and also for ourselves. Yes, we will grieve. Your family will grieve, Frederick, Edric, Rendrick, and Shela because of the loss of your mother and your wife. But because of your faith in Jesus, we have hope that one day we will be with her again. And like how we remember Jesus every time we come to Mass, Edna will always be remembered in every Mass here in her spiritual home at St. Mark, for our memories of her remains in our hearts. So let us now continue to offer our prayers to God for Edna, that he who is full of compassion and love, the resurrection and the life, will look after Edna until the day we meet her again in our heavenly home. Amen.
Why don't we all now stand and express our prayers to God, our loving Father. So may now ask members of the family to please lead us in the prayers of the faithful. In baptism, Edna was given the Pledge of Eternal Life. May she now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Edna fought the good fight. She finished the race. She kept the faith. May she now receive from Christ the crown of eternal glory, which he won for us with his death and resurrection. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Edna has finally reached the shore of eternity. Now that all her earthly tasks are completed, may she enjoy rest from all her labors. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> we pray for Edna's family and friends who shared her journey with her and looked after her that God may now strengthen them through their love for each other and their faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that we may be remembered that all times, but especially at times of pandemic troubles and anxieties, that we are loved by God and that we will take care of us Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are without faith, that Christ may open their ears and hearts to receive the good news of salvation. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we to lift our personal prayers to God, our loving Father. Father, who is full of compassion, hear the prayers of your family. Hear the prayers that are in our hearts for Edna and her family, as we lift all this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray now, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Please stand. As we humbly present to you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Edna, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of the blessed resurrection has dawned, and those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We all acclaim. Please kneel or be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, you pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church to spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patrick, our Bishop, Michael, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, the men, women, children, and families who are working the frontier missions of your church. Remember your beloved servant, Edna, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, members of our families from our parish community, all those who have died in the hospitals, in the homes and hospices, and those who have died in your mercy and whose fate you alone have known. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mark, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Why don't we all stand? And in our order of service, together as children of the Father and sisters and brothers in Christ, dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. We now turn around and with a smile offer this peace to one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who is the resurrection and the life, our Savior and Redeemer. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We are now going to distribute the Holy Communion for those of us who are Catholics, you know the drill, for our sisters and brothers who then share the Catholic faith but would like to come at the front to receive the blessing. Just place your hands like this and we will, uh, Deacon Thomas and myself will give you the blessing.
Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our beloved sister Edna may come to eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We prayed and we celebrated the life of Edna. And before we go on to our separate ways this afternoon, it is fit to take leave of our beloved sister Edna. May our farewell express our love and affection for her. May it ease our sadness, especially to the family of Frederick and strengthen our faith and hope. For one day we shall joyfully meet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. I'm now going to incense her coffin, symbolizing all our prayers as it goes up into the heavens. Let our response to every prayer receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ call you who have called you, Edna, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto Edna, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. In their hands, Father of mercies, we commend to you our beloved sister Edna, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon Edna on this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with all the saints. Merciful Lord, turn towards us, listen to our prayers, open the gates of paradise to Edna, and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our beloved Edna forever. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. This will now be the opportunity for us to have the last viewing of Edna before we close the casket. So may I ask uh, that there... Uh, our, one of our uh, funeral directors will behold 
some petals of roses, I, I assume, and then you get one and then place it inside her coffin.
And now may the angels lead you to paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham. And where Lazarus is poor no longer, may you find eternal rest. Whoever believes in me, even though the person dies, shall live. For I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. We all stand. Lord be with you. At ang pagkakas ng Diyos sa inyong lahat, sa Ama, ng Anak, ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Take leave of our sister.